OMG, I have to travel. I've been in a bubble for so long in Los Angeles. I am going to the Big Island. I am just so anxious traveling. I don't want to get this COVID. Help me. Mm. I guess I have to deal with it. No, you have to deal with it. I have to deal with it. No, you have to deal with it. Oh, I have to deal with it. Come, let's go. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to my beautiful people and to my kababayans all over the world. Marhaban, kumusta sa lahat. My name is Jo. I am the wandering nurse practitioner who's been wandering, traveling, working for more than a decade. And most of them are in pediatrics and a lot of them were all medical missions. Because of what I have learned over the years from the most talented and intelligent people, I would like to share my insights about traveling during this pandemic. I know, I know, I know, I know a lot of people have done it already, but you see, it will be my first time since the pandemic was announced in March. And I, for me, I was just trying to feel how everything was gonna go first then it's my turn now so i forged ahead so the insights i want to share with you basic tips on flying number one you need to bring your mask hand sanitizer fill out that paperwork from hawaii make sure you get the qr code and have it saved in your computer and of course bring your id and your passport Number two, pack light. I know, I know, I have two big luggages, but I'm talking about carry-ons. Pack light to avoid touching so many things. Number three, make sure you stay six feet away. I know CDC announced more than six feet. I believe it's like 26 feet. That's kind of hard to do when you're at the airport wow. and when you're in the plane. Six feet or two meters away. Number, Number four, check in. Prepare your paperwork before you check in because you want to limit the amount of time you spent with the attendant. Number five, go through check-in. Before you go through check-in, make sure you get your laptop, iPad, iPhone, coins out of your pocket, belts if you have it, so don't be dally-dallying right there and people are waiting for you to move forward. Number six, get comfortable. While waiting for your flight, read a book or something, do some blogging in your computer or do something. Number seven, in the plane. I know the airline says they clean the plane, sterilize it and all, but uh, when I was in the plane, I actually saw like a smear of something on my table. Anyway, I do it anyway. I wipe it, do use antibacterial wipes, table, seats, seat belt, windows. As a side note though, if you have miles or if you have like something to spare, uh, to spend money on is changing your seat from economy. Seriously, more than $50 of um, an upgrade is well worth it compared to getting the COVID. It's $5,000. I think it's more actually. I'm so sorry. I see you. you know, it can range from like $5,000 to $15,000. I see you intensive care per night. Well, what's more, if you're going to have a breathing tube in, uh, tube in, uh, terrible. That's probably going to be 15000 a night. Or don't want it. Might as well upgrade. Number eight, in the plane, you are required to leave your mask. Don't remove it except when you're eating or drinking. So if you're claustrophobic, this might not be a good idea for you to do. Flying, don't, don't do it. 
Number nine, when you get your packed food, eat it because you don't know when you're gonna eat next. They have limited amount of food. Or if you can't eat it, just put it in your purse just in case you need it. If you don't wanna eat it at all, give it to the homeless people when you get to the place where you are. Number 10, as soon as the pilot announces arrival time, think about deplaning. Get your stuff together, your paperwork, your QR code, your ID, your passport, so you don't spend a lot of time talking to the attendant or the person that you're gonna be meeting at the airport. Number 11, present your paperwork. They'll want your QR code. That's it, folks. I hope this is helpful. I will see you next time. Stay safe, everyone. I've been waiting for the world to spin my way. I've been waiting for a glance at the sun. Those damn COVID.